This video is designed to show you some of the details of an automated rail handling system that was recently installed at Steel Dynamics Columbia City, Indiana plant. SDI chose JBS Cranes as the OEM to provide the overhead rail handling equipment for their application. JBS Cranes was started in 1966 and serves heavy industry by supplying overhead material handling solutions from off-the-shelf units to highly customized applications. JBS worked with a skilled team in putting together the package of equipment to meet SDI's requirements. The manufacturer of the hoisting equipment was EMH. Walker Magnetics furnished the magnet systems, Hunter Lift built the interlocking magnet beam systems, and Apex Controls did the electrical controls, PLC, and programming. SDI wanted to handle railroad rails in lengths of 240 feet or 320 feet. The controls were furnished loose for remote mounting at ground level to facilitate easier service. The system was designed for both radio control and semi-automated operation. Accuracy of the system had to be plus or minus one inch both vertically and horizontally. The system uses seven hoists equally spaced along the length of the building. Each hoist was equipped with a motorized trolley and a magnet beam with magnets. Over the years, Walker engineers have developed magnets for a variety of applications, including pipe, bundle, hot billet, structural shapes, and coil lifting. These are in addition to traditional applications such as scrap and plate lifting. The rail application at Steel Dynamics is a unique application and presented a challenge for Walker. But with over 105 years of magnetics experience, the challenge was easily met. Lift test data from other steel mills was analyzed and combined with customized computer programs for rails weighing up to 135 pounds per yard. The resulting magnets maximized efficiency, having to lift 37 tons of rail while being powerful enough to snap up rails not in direct contact with the magnets. Over the length of 320 feet, rail variations will occur, and the magnets needed to be powerful enough to grab and hold any rail not in direct contact with the lifting face. Another challenge presented was to ensure handling multiple, every lift, 24 hours per day. To accomplish this, the magnet design had to include magnetic flux sharing pole shoes, which distribute the magnetic field equally to each of the rails. Since this is a continuous operation, cool operating coils in the magnet was another requirement. There could be no loss of power from heavy use. The magnets have 75% duty, precision-wound copper coils that are powerful yet cool to ensure the same lifting capability all day long. The magnet's body is fabricated from steel plate that is durable enough to withstand the constant lifting of rails, yet still maintaining a high level of permeability to ensure the level of flux density needed to lift the 320-foot rails. Twin lift lugs to attach to the hoists are another key feature that minimize magnet movement and allow the operator to position the magnets in a timely manner. The magnet beams, made by Hunter Lift, are all interconnected with tie bars to help the system operate as one and to reduce load swing. Hunter initially worked with Steel Dynamics, evaluating several different methods for rail handling, both mechanical tongs and power-driven lifters. Once magnets were chosen for the application, Hunter Lift designed the lift beams to work in conjunction with the hoists. A pinned connection was designed between each beam with tie beams to ensure that no single hoist would ever be loaded beyond its capacity. Hunter Lift worked closely with Walker Magnetics to ensure that proper mechanical and electrical connections were designed between magnets and beam. Hunter Lift also worked with EMH to ensure proper connections between the hoists and beams. All the below-the-hook equipment was designed to the latest ANSI code, BTH1. The beams were designed to design Category B, Service Class 4, the most stringent standards. The life expectancy of the beams is over 2 million cycles at maximum load. Apex's electrical controls consisted of seven individual control cabinets, each cabinet containing a vector drive for the hoist motor, a volt per hertz drive for the trolley motor, and PLC I.O. Cabinet number four is considered the master controller, while the remaining cabinets are followers. A radio transmitter contains a single dual-axis joystick that commands either the hoist, trolley, or both motions simultaneously. 
Also located on the transmitter are seven toggle switches, which allow the operator to select any of the hoist units for motion. Toggle switches for the magnet controls are provided on the transmitter as well. Also included is a selector for energizing or de-energizing only 10 magnets for 240-foot rails or all 14 for 320-foot rails. The radio receiver, located in cabinet number 4, communicates directly with the main PLC via Allen Bradley DeviceNet protocol. The DeviceNet option required much less hardware than the standard industry radio receiver. Cabinet number 4, being the master controller, contained an Allen Bradley Control Logix PLC with communication capabilities for ControlNet, DeviceNet, and Ethernet IP. The DeviceNet protocol is used exclusively to communicate to the radio receiver, whereas the ControlNet protocol is used to communicate to the follower cabinets, which contain FlexLogic blocks for distributed I.O. ControlNet was the protocol of choice due to its high speed, which is required to obtain the fast streams of encoder feedback signals being sent to the PLC. Ethernet IP is used to tie this seven-hoist control system into SDI's computer network. The PLC program is designed to keep the hoist hook heights and trolley positions in sync with all seven units. Algorithms were written into the PLC program to provide auto-correction to each hoist or trolley motion that is considered out of tolerance. This is accomplished by tracking the encoder feedback pulses from each trolley unit and comparing them to the master feedback. This calculation is then used to adjust the appropriate hoist or trolley motion to compensate. The hoists were manufactured by EMH Incorporated. EMH Incorporated, engineered material handling, was founded in 1988 and has evolved into a full line manufacturer of overhead cranes and components. The EMH product line includes overhead and gantry cranes for capacities up to 300 tons, aluminum workstation cranes, plus standard and custom engineered hoists and end trucks. EMH opened its current Valley City, Ohio home office and manufacturing plant in 1997 and recently expanded the plant to its current size of over 65,000 square feet. EMH is a member of the Crane Manufacturers Association of America, CMAA, and Material Handling Industry of America, MHIA, and is certified to ISO 9001-2000 standards. Some of the hoist features included H4 heavy-duty industrial rating, encoders on motors for positioning feedback to the PLC, double reeved for true vertical lift, redundant electromechanical upper limit switch, single position locking hook, inverter duty motors, four element geared upper and lower limit switch to provide a zero point for the hoist, four wheel drive trolleys with brakes, and NEMA 4 enclosures. For further information on this system or help with your material handling application, please contact JBS Cranes at 1-800-942-5272 or visit our website at www.unifab-jbs.com.